Hola, hola, my queen bee baker. So today I am baking a cheesecake. So let's get started. What I have in here is a four cream cheese bar, so 32 ounces. And I'm gonna have this in the description box below. I have some coarse salt, coarse salt some um, brown sugar, granulated white sugar, some vanilla extract, this is Mexican vanilla extract, some graham cracker crumbs, this was already pre-bought, um, grinded like that, some more uh, sugar, uh, four eggs, and some sour cream. Again, look at the description box or in the comments for the recipe. So make sure your cream cheese is at least at room temp, but at least uh, pliable. You can put it in the microwave too if you need to. So you want this creamy, but you don't want to over whip it because you don't want a bunch of air in there. So this is a nice and creamy. It's still a little stiff, but it's nice and creamy. It's incorporated, I incorporated all. Now we're gonna add our sugar yep. to the bowl. Go ahead, Bella. Bella's helping me out. And then we're going to incorporate that. Make sure you scrape the sides of the bowl as well. Okay, it should be nice and creamy once it's fully incorporated. Now we add the sour cream. Okay, we have the sour cream in there. Belle's gonna add the vanilla extract, throw it in there. Good job. And then she's gonna add the salt. Good job. Then we're gonna mix that all together. All right, it's nicely fully incorporated. Now we're gonna add the eggs. Bella's gonna add the eggs. Good job, Bella. And then we're gonna slowly mix those in. You don't wanna go high speed and make sure you keep scraping the sides of your bowl, okay? Okay, Mom. So it's gonna look a little curly and you're gonna scrape the sides of the bowl. Just keep going, keep going. This is on number two speed. It will start coming together. Just keep going for a good five, four or five minutes. All right, your batter should be nice and creamy like that. And if there's little chunks in there, just know it's cream cheese. You can go get a spatula and try to push them out or spread them out yourself, but it's not really a huge big deal if this is your first time making cheesecake. It'll still taste delicious, I promise. Also, some people like putting it through a strainer. It's completely up to you, okay? But don't overthink it on your first time making it. Now we're going to make the crust. Go ahead and pour that in, Bella. This is the graham crackers. And then the white granulated sugar. The brown sugar and the butter melted butter all right Bella mix it mix it all together cookie cookie <laughs> cookie yeah. cooking <laughs> okay you're gonna want a nine inch spring fork <clears throat> pan oh and uh, yeah nine inch works the best but whatever you have can work just make sure it pops out like this but you can also use a small cupcake tin pans if you want. Completely up to you if you want to make mini cheesecake cakes. Yeah. yeah. So it's fully formed and we're gonna throw this into our spring form pan. Ta -da! All right, now we're gonna spread this all over and I like a high border, but it's completely up to you. I'm wearing a glove, not because I need to, but because it makes the process so much smoother and you don't get dirty. This is the only process of the cheesecake that I need to wear a glove, in my opinion, because it makes everything so much more even and smoother. I'm not really particular about my borders. If you are, that's completely up to you and you do how you like it. But there's that, that's how I did mine. Okay, now we're gonna pour our batter, it's nice and creamy into where we just get our crust. Nice, thick and creamy batter. That looks gorgeous, beautiful, shiny. That's how it should look. It should look shiny like that. And then we want to even it out. You can tap it like you would, oops. You can tap it like you would a cake to get the bubbles out. You don't have to. You can do that, or you can smear it out. 
but there's that. Okay, I'm going to put mines inside of a bigger pan. This is like a full size large cake pan. Um, and then we're gonna add a little bit of water to the bottom. So I added some water. I didn't do halfway or anything. I did about a fourth of the way. Some people put tin foil on the bottom of their cheesecake pan because they're afraid of the water seeping in. I actually um, trust my springform pan, so I'm not putting it, but if you don't and if you're fearful that water's gonna seep into it, just put some tin foil on the bottom and then put it into the bath like so. The timer just went off and whoo, look at that steam, but it looks gorgeous. Okay, so here's the cheesecake right out of the oven. What you wanna do is let it cool on top of your stove because you want it to gradually decline in temperature so you don't want to put this in the refrigerator right away so we're going to leave it here for about a good half hour and then in a half an hour we can put it in the refrigerator for about an hour the weight is so worth it you guys so just let it gradually cool so i've had the cheesecake in the refrigerator for at least 45 minutes and it's been cooling down. It's still a little warm though, so we wanna leave it in here for at least 30 minutes. Guys, so it is cold. It's not super cold, but it's cold, and it is completely done. I am going to release it from the spring form, like so, slowly. And if you're afraid it's gonna stick to the sides, make sure you just rub a, a knife along the edges but mine's came out perfect okay now what you want to do is carefully take it apart oh yeah look at that bad boy yummy now don't try to be a perfectionist and be like, oh my God, a little bit came off. It's totally okay, especially for your first time if you have a little bit like that. And if it happens, it's still okay because the inside of your cheesecake and the taste is what matters. So let's go ahead and put this on a platter and then cut a piece. Before I cut into it, I do want to take a couple pictures first, right in front of the big window with lots of lighting. And I just want to show you guys what it looks like what it looks like so i just have it on a 12 inch cake board it's still on its pan right here but is it she beautiful okay let's cut into it so let's cut into this bad boy now i have my sharpest knife and i ran it under some hot water just to give you an idea and so you can lift up the cheesecake like so. That's how you know it's completely done. I love this breath up, eh? Okay, hold on. Looking how nice and creamy that piece of cheesecake is. Beautiful. And there is your piece of cheesecake. You guys enjoy. Let me know how this recipe comes out. This is just a two die board. Look at how fluffy and creamy it is. Let me know how you guys like this. And thank you for watching this. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, learn, create, inspire, aspire every day.